There are multiple advantages of having a closet in your house and a simple Google research proves that. Studies show that 5 out of 10 people have a closet installed in their rooms. This proves that only 50% of the human race knows the actual importance of closets. Now if you are a closet guy, like I am, you'd like to know more details on the history of closets. In the early 1970s, there were reports on guests smelling a horrible odor whenever they passed by a closet that belonged to a host. Multiple guest reports state that the closet stench had begun to diffuse around the hour when food had been consumed. This would usually occur around 9 to 10 p.m. once the guests had finally finished partaking. Every now and then, the host would fire signals such as, oh, I actually forgot to wash my hands, or my phone is ringing in the other room, as if it were not obvious enough. Once the host hopefully distracts the guest, he calmly exits the room. Once all goodbyes and farewells are said, there was always one particular guest who happened to stumble upon the foul smell. In 1975, one host stated that the main reason for not using the bathroom was because of the echoey sound which came from it. Studies show that as the years went on, there was an increase in closet farts. Forensics at the time did not have the technology to figure out the science behind this, so they ended up leaving this in the hands of the modern generation. Let's use this couple as an example. This is Joe and Mary. They've known each other for well over two weeks and they've decided on a final date to settle everything. Joe has never been fond of Mexican food. Due to this, Joe has a running stomach. Joe needs to use the bathroom, but the bathroom line is full. Joe is concerned. Joe is concerned and can't exit due to there being a huge and sudden uprising just outside the door. This is where we come in. This is John Quinones, and everyone gathered here is captured on his new and very famous TV show, What Would You Do? We've built in a hidden closet in case of emergencies and hidden cameras all around the restaurant. With the increase of desperateness, Joe has his one-way ticket to Utopia. With the crowd dismembering, he recognizes one and only place on Earth left to save him. Tonight we've saved someone from a huge humiliation, and by doing so, we've proved the effectiveness of closet farts. So ladies and gentlemen, we, the scientists, have decided to solve the mysterious case of the 90s. While family reunions may not always end happily, we are left to question whether this may be because a certain someone played the role of indecency. While this may be a small possibility, just ask Detective Jerome Pitt. Pitt, the leader of the classic mysterious case, claimed that one particular family had a fallout due to one repulsive behavior. Now speaking to us, we unfold what happened that night. At first, the Williams family had a fairly normal conversation. But after the uncle, George Williams, accidentally let one out, the conversation went from Thanksgiving dinner to farts and politics. The family hasn't made contact since 1978. With that being said, my team and I had drawn up one conclusion to the matter. No matter what we do, we can't fix the wounded family. Even creating a time machine is beyond our power. And so, we had created our own film depicting the alternative ending to this crisis. Except this time, 
a closet was created. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a pleasure working with you all. Until next time.